There we go. Well, hello everyone. And hopefully my camera doesn't go to cell phone recording mode there. Welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Grown Build. Last time you saw this, uh, we repainted the exterior. And as you can see, it turned out a lot smoother and a lot shinier. This time around, a little bit of, on the side there's a little bit of orange peel, but not horrible. A little bit there on the quarter panel, but yeah, the trunk lid and the, the top of it laid down pretty smooth. Especially compared to what it was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, we're going to flip this thing over, and I got myself this nice little soft towel here, because I don't want the body to get all scuffed up and we got the semi-gloss black paint in and uh, it's probably not going to be a huge difference but I want to dull down the frame components of this car so without further ado I'm going to pull up the chair here and we are going to paint the frame And I turned my camera the other uh, upside down, my stand the other way toward me. Oh boy, they fill that to the rim, don't they? Give you, or is that a bubble? That might be a bubble. Yep, that's a bubble. Yeah, I was like, boy, they fill that to the rim. Now it's only about half full. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to painting this frame. See what kind of effect we get out of it. And I'm going to take my glasses off for this because, as you all know by now, I can't see. Close up with them on. Yeah, you probably ain't gonna, aren't going to see no difference on camera, but up close here, I can definitely tell it's a different shade. It's just going to be slightly different. But I want to keep the main for the glossy. My, uh, we're just going to turn the towel. My Alclad Chrome is supposed to be here Wednesday, which it's Sunday right now. So a few more days and we'll have the Chrome so we can finish up them uh, Chrome pieces. that. I say that in every video, don't I? Yeah, I like that. That's the main thing when you're building these. If you're happy with it, it's all that matters. I warned you before, this isn't going to win the awards at the IPMS model show by any means. And that's okay. Look at that. I'm just surprised by how well everything has been turning out. Had some bumps along the way. As with a lot of things. For the most part, it's been all right. That might be too much on the brush. I want to get carried away. Oh, 
Oh yeah, once it's dry in here I can I can already see the difference. It's gonna be one of those things where it's you're gonna see it in a certain light probably. But other than that you probably won't even tell. <laughs> That's going to be tough to paint that exhaust pipe. I really like the new kits nowadays where they actually mold the exhaust pieces as separate pieces. I can't wait to get myself a newer kit like that. Saw a guy building a 72 um, Herstol's Indy Pace car. And, uh, yeah, I like how the interior door panels are separate so you can paint them on a flat surface. He did an awesome job on that car. That was amazing, the way that turned out. And I'll hold this up to the camera too once I, um, I gotta quit saying ohm. That's a nervous habit. Once I get it all painted up. But it might take a little bit. This would be harder if the body color was a different color to get this all painted right. Different tones of the same color are a little more forgiving. front of the differential housing I like my little light streamer light I got helps out for me to see things Let's do the side of the differential quick. And we'll turn it so we can get the other side of this part. Wonderful. Yeah, just a subtle difference in tone. 
but it looks more like a frame would be painted. Well, I guess I never I wasn't around when these were new from the factory, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I assume they're flat black. Or, um, sorry, not flat, uh, semi gloss black from the factory, the frames. We're a quarter of the way through it though. And I got that part. All right, let's work our way toward that middle section there. I'll go at it from this angle. I think I'm just going to get hit the tops of the frames. I think that would be sufficient. Just to dull down that shininess. I'm going to try not to touch it, the body, with my hands if I don't have to. Keep the fingerprints off, you know. Funnest part's gonna be that exhaust. I half wonder if it wouldn't be easy to bare metal foil it and then just follow along with the cut it with a knife. That might be easier. I might do that. Cause I have aluminum. I don't know, do they make a stainless? I'm not sure. I can look it up. Yeah, it might be easy to just bare metal foil it up. If they got like a stainless steel. Something that's not too shiny.
I think I'll save the outer frame there for last because I can see myself getting my uh, palms in it as I'm trying to paint the rest of this. It's good to be working back on the brome again. Having a lot of fun with the P40. Getting that airbrush out and doing stuff. I, I really like how that paint turned out. Now I still gotta detail this, the top of this engine. It's been so cold here, I was worried about my paints being froze. Because um, <clears throat> they delivered when I was at work. I was able to go home and grab them and get them inside. I got this gloss black uh, Tamiya. And I also got uh, the... Um, what set was that? I'm trying to replace my... Uh, older paints. Oh, I got the metal paints. Vallejo metal. Um, I think that's what they called it. The Vallejo metal paint kit. It's got all like your gun metals and your, your coppers, your bra um, brass and all that. Got a couple different colors of rust. Yeah, I'm I'm really seriously considering bare metal falling that. So I don't think I can paint that. Without it, uh, looking pretty, pretty raggedy. Hopefully you guys aren't just getting a shot of my, the top of my head. I'm actually going to paint like this fender level this color too. There we go. No shiny wee well, wee wells, wheel wells. Can be a little shiny at the edge where the fender paint would be. Boy, I like the way that brush uh, brushes on. It's not like the testers and it gets all the thick lines and then kind of settles it. You can't really see the brush strokes in it. 
terrible. there we get all there we go that I'm guessing is the uh, well that'd be your Mimicking the bottom of the radiator, maybe? I'm going to paint it this color. Now, let's get this part. We're almost done with the frame. Now I probably won't be able to do any more videos until I take care of uh, I get them on the phone, off the phone and onto the computer because I'm out of memory. My phone's been screaming at me. front of it. Oh, I already got the front of it. Yeah, that's probably all my head in there. Computer's working hard, I can hear it. That would actually be open area. Oh, my dog dogs are are playing. There we go. Oh, get 
there. Underline. A little bit of shiny is still allowed. There we go. Now, I'm probably going to have to take my, one of my, put this through it. Just to lift it up to paint it, but I need my brush. shiny either. Did I get the back there? Doesn't look like it. Let's finish that wheel oil though. Oops, we moved our... moved it. Did not want to do that. Wonderful. Okay, I'll grab the where the chrome part would be. Get that centered back up. All right, let's pull that out. Appreciate your help. And let's just finish this off. I don't know, is that supposed to be the starter? I guess I'm not supposed to be the starter. I don't know. But I am going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this front part. Because I, I believe that's probably it's supposed to be the radiator support area. So I am going to paint that, this semi-gloss. I think we'll call that a video. I better give you a close-up though. So it looks like I did something. Let's see if we if you could tell the results. Let's get this before I knock it over and spill it, because I just bought it. I like that. That that applies very nicely. Anyways. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Probably not, since it's not dry. But there is a slight variation in tone. And I just realized I forgot the outer part here. So, get that paint back out. We're not, uh... I saved those for last because I was afraid of, uh... Getting my hand in it.
I could get that painted on the side there. I'd like to. Kind of got a little bit of it because this brush is nice and wide. It kind of kind of rides it. And in the next video, once it's nice and dry and there's, I'm sure it'll show a better variation in tone. I'm going to go for it. If I mess up the uh, oh, that'll work. The trim piece is going to cover most of it anyway. Do the other side. Then we'll call it a video. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and yeah, I think I might bare metal foil that exhaust. But we have an engine to paint next in the fuel tank, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching again. <laughs> See you guys next time.